All right, so boom. Today, I'm going to talk about this conversation that I had with someone not too long ago. And during our conversation, him and I spoke about affirmations. And when we talked about it, it was very, it was very brief. It was very brief conversations, but there were some things that I remember saying about my experience with affirmations and how I approach them, how I approach affirmations now. So, first how it all started out was, oh my God, hold on. Okay, so him and I, we were talking about affirmations and One thing that I realize about affirmations for me is that, uh, is that I don't do them. I don't do affirmations. I haven't really done affirmations for a long period of time because I couldn't really get into it. Um, and I'm not to say that it's not to say that they don't work. I, I've never done it to know whether or not it works. But I know that if and when I do start to do it, and when I say like doing affirmations, I mean like you do them, um, you speak them out loud uh, consistently throughout the day, every day. And that's what I mean when I say I'm, I'm not doing affirmations because I, I've done them before, like I've I've practiced it and tried to do it, but it's never anything that stuck with me. It's not something that is a part of my habits and stuff that I do every day. So, um, so for the people that do them, I'm pretty sure that, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know for for people that do them they those are some you know I don't know if you do them cool but for me the disconnect comes in where in order for me to do an affirmation in order for me to say I am uh insert whatever into the blank I have to believe that about myself. I have to totally believe that that's true. Or I at least have to say it to myself until I believe it. And for me, if I know it's something that I know to absolutely be false, then it it just doesn't it's it, it's just me lying to myself if I know that it's false. So, uh, how else can I put it? There's affirming, right? And the reason why I can affirm something about myself is because I know it to be true. Like, I can say I am a regular gym goer. I am someone who works out multiple times per week. And I know that to be true. And that can be an affirmation because it's true to me. And it's something that I really do. Um... If I say, on the other hand, um, I am vegan, I know that that's false. And it doesn't matter how many times I tell myself over and over and over again, I am vegan, I am vegan. Or when I talk to other people, I tell them, I am vegan, I am vegan. It. It, it would just be me lying to myself and lying to everybody else and just 
relying on my existence as a whole. So, in order for me to do affirmations, it has to be, it has to, it has to really align with who I am. It has to be uh, custom tailored. The affirmation that I make for myself has to be custom tailored to me, my experiences, my life, and what I know to be true about me and my behavior and who I am and also who I want to be or continue to be. Um, so instead of, so, so instead of saying, um, instead of saying, I am rich, right? Because, because affirmations can be vague too. What is rich? What is, uh, what is, what is rich? Is it rich spiritually? Is it rich financially? Is it rich in health? Is it is it rich in something or is it rich because of something? Is it rich in taste? Um, are you rich in appearance? Like what is rich to you? What is rich to me? It's two different things. So I wouldn't for me, I wouldn't say something like I am rich. For me, I would say I am someone who spends money wisely I am spending money wisely an affirmation is a reminder it's not wishful thinking to me if I'm thinking about rich financially and I know that there's no money in my account or my account is in a negative then i would be lying to myself by saying that financially i'm rich right um if i'm wanting to lose weight right because i feel like i'm overweight or if i'm even wanting to gain weight right I would say I, w I wouldn't tell myself I am 180 pounds I wouldn't tell other people I am 180 pounds when I think about affirmations I think about things that I tell other people like when I'm looking them in their eyes in their face and what I look at somebody in their face in their eyes and lie and tell them something about myself that I know not to be true no so I would, I would tell them the things that I remind myself. Um, I am 140 or 150 pounds. I'm between 140 and 150 pounds. And I'm doing the things I need to do in order to become 120 pounds. Or I'm doing the things that I need to do in order to gain 20 more pounds um, or I'm trying new things in order to get to where I want to be but I wouldn't just flat out say I am 180 175 I ain't gonna say I am a 400 pound bench presser I wouldn't say that um, because in because the, the problems with affirmation is that if you if i don't do it correctly if we don't do it correctly it can um it can really get us out of touch with reality and it can really make us detach from truths and it can really make me feel bad about myself when i'm faced with reality again so that's the other side of affirmations and part of why I don't do them and haven't practiced them because I know because when I when I did do it for a while um it was it was not custom tailored to me so I had to I had to create another relationship with affirmations a lot of times it was affirmations that was uh we we did in a group setting or uh, you just kind of like someone says something and you repeat after them or 
you know, uh, and and it, it just, I don't know, it, it, it didn't really resonate with me, because if it did, it would have stuck, but the idea of affirmations, I love the idea of it, I love the idea of, like, thinking about it, because to me, affirmations are reminders, and they can really help us remember who we are and where we're trying to go and um remind ourselves of where we used to be versus where we are now so um so yeah if i'm telling myself something that i know not to be true when i'm faced with reality it can hurt me and uh that's why affirmations are like uh, affirmations are like a double-edged sword in that way you know um on one end if i do them correctly and i do it consistently it's it's a reminder and i can grow in that way um but if on the other if if i'm lying to myself with some of them uh or all of them or or not doing it correctly then it's wishful thinking and i'm ultimately like holding myself back from acknowledging the truth and and actually doing what needs to be done um so yeah if uh if i got like 10 good affirmations and I stick to those 10, great. But if I got five good and five bad, they really just cancel each other out. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm very, I'm very cautious when it comes to affirmations. I don't lie to myself um, in totality, you know. You gotta, you gotta believe in yourself for sure. Um, you, sometimes you got to have those other people that believe in you. But if if I lie to myself, then I don't believe myself, and I don't um, have other people believe in me. If I'm lying, if they you know they realize that I'm lying to them as well. So yeah, that's that's it. That's what we that's pretty much what we talked about. And that's that's my thoughts on affirmations. That's my thoughts on it. Oh, I ain't even t- talk about where I'm at. So today I'm uh I'm in the car in the lovely north side of Atlanta. Dunwoody area, sitting in the shade, top down, where I like to talk and give in-depth feedback to the things that are going on in my mind and the conversations that I had. That's what I talked about today. That's what we talked about today. I don't know. How do y'all deal with affirmations? What do y'all think? Are there times when affirmations work for you? Are there times when you wrote down things about yourself that you know that I didn't know was true or that you didn't know was true? Or um, do you have do do I have to lie to myself? You know. Uh, cause some things, right? Like some things aren't always necessarily like a lie. Like two things can be true at once. So you, for example, right? Like, and this is, this is also why I say like an affirmation can be good, but it can also be bad. I'm not married or anything like that. But if I was in a, if I was married, I don't know if I would say, um, I don't know if I would say something like, I 
I don't know if I would tell myself consistently something like, I am happy with my marriage. Because things happen, emotions change. I don't know, right? But for one, we know that happiness is an emotion. We know that... um, we know that things come and go. We know that um, we know that we know that things change. I know that things change. So I say, like, I'm happy with something. And what happens when you don't have it? You know, um, you actually like you you really start to believe the things that you tell yourself. We really start to believe things that we tell ourselves. And if there's some bias or some things about what we're telling ourselves that aren't true, then we begin to believe the lie. We begin to to turn away from reality. We begin to um, stay in situations that aren't uh, are, aren't serving and we begin to self-sabotage ourselves so <clears throat> so I wouldn't say something like that because for one happiness is an emotion uh, two the, uh, relationships start and they end you know and, and I don't want all of that all of my um, my happiness tied into one specific thing or one specific relationship or the 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 light for me to be outside of myself so i wouldn't say something like that um and also i wouldn't say i'm happy with my marriage because what if i'm not happy with my marriage right that doesn't necessarily mean i'm gonna get a divorce but if i'm constantly lying to myself saying i'm happy with my marriage 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 and i know deep down that i'm not happy with my marriage then one day i'm gonna i'm probably gonna just you going to flip because you're not being honest with yourself. You're not being honest with your partner. You're not being honest with um, with where you are right now in that moment in order to get out of the sadness or the anger or the confusion and to step into the happiness. So I would say instead of saying I'm happy with my marriage, I would say, um, you know, I would say like I would say I am I would say I am married cuz that's that's true I am married and continuing to xyz for my marriage or for the betterment of my marriage i'm continuing to show up unconditionally for my marriage or i'm conti- i'm continuing to, i i am someone who um enjoys solving the the challenges of the marriage and in that it's like okay or i i am someone who can face challenges in marriage that's way better than saying i'm happy with my marriage i'm someone who can i am a, i'm a married man who can face the challenges of marriage boom i'm a married man who can face the challenges of marriage now i'm not married right but Even if I'm not married, I can say I am a man who can face the challenges of a relationship. And then that can that can remind me to show up correctly when a challenge presents itself. And challenges for everybody are different. But to think that you're going to get into a relationship or to think that I'm going to get into a relationship and uh, and there not be any challenges or there not be any bad days or that the sun's going to be out forever and it'll never rain or um, or there there won't be some kind of uh, ruffling of the feathers is to to lie to myself is to deny reality is to not acknowledge life and not acknowledge the 
the the ups and downs of everything that we go through every day um so yeah you know i don't think that i don't think that affirmations are wrong but i think that we have to think carefully about what we tell ourselves we do the mind can play tricks on us the the language can play tricks on us the the writing and the spelling of certain things can uh cause us to to play tricks on ourselves um and we can end up conditioning and training our thoughts in our in our subconscious to really think one way and it not serve us in the end um and it, and, and so I would double check like go back and double check the things that you're telling yourself you know go that go i go back and i double check the things that i'm saying to myself i go back and i check check the things that um i tell myself we got to be careful how we talk right the 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 bible tells us that there are power in our words Life and death lies in the power of the tongue. Um, and in my experience in life, I, I've seen and know that to be true. And I'll use this this as an example. I'll use this next this next situation as an example. Ever since I was young, I don't know, I don't know why, maybe this has something to do with, like, why I make music and, and come up with words and lyrics and things, but <clears throat> I noticed very young, I, I, pro I probably was, like, five years old, maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten, who knows, Some, somewhere around there in my early elementary age. Whenever people would uh, disagree with you uh, or, or me, we would say to each other something like, I don't think that's right. I don't think you should do that. I don't think we should go about this that way. And, and... In my response, in questioning what people say, or even if I said it myself, I would have to listen to myself or listen to them and really break down the entire sentence itself. And this, this, this was something that we learned in school of like about context clues and, and certain information. I don't say the words uh, together. I don't think anymore, unless it's a certain situation where I'm like in a flow state and it's like, okay, because I'm in this state, I don't think about X, Y, Z. But the three words I don't think, and so I'll, in my response, I would be like, okay, so you don't think, you're not thinking. If you were thinking, then you would, think something different i don't use those words anymore I, if i disagree with someone i would say i'll say something like i don't agree with you or we're not seeing eye to eye on this situation i think that you and i are talking about two different things i wouldn't say i don't think we agree i think we don't agree and just moving the don't in, from in between the I and the think down between the um, agree and we makes that big. It makes a big difference in sin in 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 the delivery of the sentence and in, in, in the entire sentence so it becomes a completely different sentence. I don't think we agree, and I think we don't agree are two different sentences with the same words so yeah 
him. While some people will tell you, oh, it's just lingo. Oh, it's just slang. Oh, it's just, you know, blah, blah, blah. I would respond with this. My one of my professors and he was and he's one of the best professors I had said that we don't just anything. Nothing is ever just this or that. Um it's, it's not just it's not it's not just anything. Um when we put the word just into something we we kind of diminish the value of it. Nothing is ever just anything. So it's not just lingo. It's not just sentence structure. It is lingo. It is sentence structure. It is the difference between telling yourself the truth and telling yourself a lie. It is the difference between affirming and reminding yourself something and wishful thinking. It is the difference. And I know that to be true. And so that's why I'm very cautious when it comes to affirmations. That's why I'm very cautious when I respond to people with things that I don't agree with them on. Because I wouldn't tell somebody that I don't think because affirmation, I am a critical thinker. I am someone who tends to overthink. I am a thought processing human being. I am someone who is aware of my thoughts. I am someone who thinks. So I wouldn't, I do not start my sentences with I don't think anymore. I don't start my sentences that way. But <clears throat> if there is a situation where I'm trying not to think and I get to the point to where I'm not thinking, blah, 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 blah. And, um, yeah, I would, I would say something like that. Like I, I would just move the words differently and I would move them to a different part of the sentence. Simple. When I'm freestyling, I don't think about what's going to come next. When I'm driving, I don't think about pressing on the gas because I've done it for so long it just comes naturally or it, it comes naturally it doesn't just come naturally it comes naturally because I've been doing it for so long there are certain things that we don't think about I'm someone who moves my hands when I talk when I'm talking I don't think about moving my hands or where my hands are gonna go sometimes they just move they move naturally they move naturally so um yeah yeah, there are things that we don't think about and we need to, or for me, I need to be aware of what I say when I say it because it helps me and it reminds me that words matter and how I use my words matter and the structure of which I use my words matter. And if I didn't care I would just I, I would say whatever if I didn't care about sentence structure if I didn't care about being honest with myself or telling myself the truth then I wouldn't think I would say but I do think so That's all I got for today, man. That's all I got for today. My name is Jakai Lasan Carmichael. You can call me Jakai. You can call me Lasan. You can call me Carmichael. Um, time is currently seven forty. Nope, seven fifty. It's 7.50 Thursday. Nope. Dang, I can't tell the date and time. It's crazy because, like, I got this whole thing that we can talk about with time, too. But according to this watch and the way that the stars and the moon and the sun shine right now, it's currently 
7.50. The date is Friday, April 19th, 2024. I'm in North Side, Georgia, where the weather is great. And, uh, it's been cool. It's been cool being able to get deep into my thoughts and share things. Share what I think about the world. Share what I think about words. Share what I think about, um, myself and the interactions that I have with myself and other people. And, yeah, you know, I hope that, I really do hope that my words reach people in a way that'll, that'll allow them to understand some more things about me and, um, and even about themselves. And even if we're different and even if we disagree about many things um i'm willing to have those discussions i'm willing to willing to talk about it i'm willing to open up about who i am and some of the things that i've been through in order to really uh share and experience life with other people so and that's all I got today. You know what I'm saying? A little, little TT, you know what I'm saying? A little, little T about what about me? A little T. Yeah, that's all I got, man. That's all I got. It's been real. I've been debating on whether or not I want to like edit these videos. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if there's anything I want to cut out. I don't know. But yeah. Probably, I don't know. I'm probably not going to edit the video. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah. Alright, man. What do y'all think about affirmations? What do y'all think about... Um, what do y'all think about the affirmations and the the things that we remind ourselves about? What do you think about when it comes to um, you know lying to yourself intentionally? Who do you think you become when you do that? Who do you think you are in that moment when, like, what is it in us that makes us do that to ourselves? What, um, what is it in us that, that, what is it in you that made you aware or unaware of the fact that you were lying to yourself? Did, did this help, you know, did this make you think a little bit deep, deeper about, um, what you say to yourself and what you say to other people? Um, does, did this, did this give you some kind of, uh, insight into the, the language, to your language? I don't know. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, let me know. Let me know. Um, I got some more, got some more fitness stuff on the way. I got some more, um, I got some more music on the way. I have some more, uh.
have some more some more videos on the way about this who's calling me somebody's calling me y'all uh i don't know who it is but i'm gonna call them back they they hung up the phone now so i'll call them back in a little bit but but yeah, 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 yeah. Where was I going with this? Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff on the way, you know what I'm saying? I got I got music, I got videos, I got shows, I got uh merch, I got business ideas, I got um, you know, uh uh competitions, I got uh, you know, I have all all these little different things coming up and I'll I'll try to keep y'all posted on like what's going on with me and I'll try to keep everyone posted on, you know, uh just like little things in my life that I feel like sharing. Um, little things in my life that I'm learning along the way. I just I just had my birthday last uh, nine days ago on the 10th of April. Currently 27 now, and I'm liking it. I'm enjoying being 27. I'm enjoying being a little bit older. I'm enjoying being able to um, to finally just be in a position where I feel comfortable speaking out about certain things I'm the type of person that was very observant and I would listen and I would see and watch and and while I do have the ability to be someone who's very outspoken, bold, and extroverted in that way, and type A personality, and and this and that, I've learned through following people and then put in positions of leadership that sometimes as a leader you just sit back and watch you know um you don't always have to overly correct things or speak on everything you see or um or make a comment or um or react or or anything like that and um so 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 I, I learned that that as a leader that I don't have to do those things and I can still uh speak when I need to. When I talk and you can ask anybody that knows me, I can talk for hours. I can talk I can talk 30, 40, 50 minutes. I can talk an hour long and just go on and on and on and on and on. I have no problem doing that. But for a while, I didn't feel comfortable doing that. Um, for a while, I felt more comfortable to just sit back and watch, sit back and look, sit back and listen, sit back and um, and see. And but and and the reason being is because a lot of times I wasn't just sitting back and listening. I was actually like, I was sitting up. I was sitting. In, I was sitting up, and and very actively listening and and very actively observing and watching and listening with intention so even it even when i'm passive i learned that even when i'm even in times when i'm passive um i can be connected i can still i can still show up you know, I can still have something to say and not say it or have something to say and say it. And it's just, it's just, it's just me. It's part of who I am. So, yeah. But, you know, I, I'll try to keep everybody posted on things. Try not to go off on a tangent here about these affirmations and stuff like that. But I'm just so happy and really excited that I'm in a position now and, and comfortable enough now to sit and talk in front of a a, a camera like this in front of uh and, and I don't have to be in front of a group of people um I feel comfortable with sharing things and uh, about myself 
without um, saying too much or too little, without uh, being, you know, too metaphorical to where I, I'm not personable or, um, you know, giving examples that don't don't make sense because I'm not being honest. So, so I'm, I'm cool, you know, I'm happy to be able to speak about what I think about affirmations and and be in it and it and and be wrong and somebody tell me that I'm wrong and and be willing to have that conversation I'm I'm ready for it um I'm very interested in the psychology behind things I'm very interested in the history about certain things I'm interested in um knowing what other people think about themselves and about the world that we live in I think that we live in a world where we can be more connected and if there's a way that we can do that then we should so this is my way of connecting with the world this is my way of reaching out to other people that want to have discussions, um, other people that want to know things about me, stories about me, and um, yeah, and this is and this is uh, a way for me to share. So. Appreciate you for listening, homie. <laughs> if you stayed on the video this far, then um, you know we rock and we here, and I don't know. It's, it's always seems like it's it's always like I want to go, but I don't want to go. I want I got stuff to say, but I don't I don't I don't want to like I don't want to keep y'all for too long. I don't want to I don't want to keep you here for too long. But I don't know. Maybe you're listening to this while you're driving, so it don't matter, and it take you an hour to get to work or. Maybe maybe pause the video. That's the cool thing about technology. You ain't got to listen to it all at once. But I will say that I have a lot to say, and um, and uh, 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 you can come back and 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 talk to me at any time. You can come back and hear what I have to say at any time. If you're watching this on your phone, computer, or you know, wherever you had in the car, listen to the first 10 minutes or the last 10 minutes, you know, um, keep me on the phone, talk to me in person, you know, uh, so that's, that's how I'm thinking about it. What else is there to talk about? What else is there to say? Oh, I actually have to upload the videos and get them to us. Because I I might want to go back and listen to it too, so I gotta I gotta do that. And yeah, uh, I'm supposed to be doing that right now, but I wanted to I wanted to t I wanted to talk about this seriously. I, I wanted to I wanted to discuss this because the days the day was perfect, um, and. The day was perfect and the hour was right. The time was right. And I am going to, I'm going to give, I'm going to, I'm going to get this to y'all. Uh, I'm going to get the other video to y'all first. You got the other video first. You're going to, damn. <laughs> okay. So yeah. So I made this video and I was supposed to actually work on editing another video before I did this video. And so you probably seen that one first, but I haven't given it to you yet. But if you listen to this now, it's the video that's there that I made that I made yesterday that is technically not there right now in this moment at eight. 5 p.m. um on Friday right now because I technically haven't uploaded it but by the time you see this it'll be there so <laughs> yeah or hear this it'll be there so yeah um 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right, y'all. I'm out E5000. I'm, uh... I'm out to dip. No monkey bars. I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm cool, man. I'm cool, buddy. I'm cool, buddy. I don't, I'm, I'm all talked out for the day. So, but yeah, 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 yeah. I want to say uh, shout out. Do I want to have any shout outs? Any closing remarks, final remarks? Uh, um, oh, um, He was trying to kill me, or she was trying to, where did it go? Um, and, uh, in recognition of, uh, uh, Thursday, uh, April 18th and Friday, April 19th, if it was your birthday, happy birthday to you, um, in recognition of 420 coming up. Uh, to those of you whose birthday it is, uh, happy birthday to you. Happy 420. Enjoy your day. Remember that uh, Earth Day is coming up. And I don't know. I, I feel like I really feel like Earth Day is one of my favorite holidays. When I think about Earth Day and I think about the time of the year that it happens in and what's going on in the world. Um, I really like Earth Day. I think that I think that is my new favorite holiday. So, uh, it really, it really just m makes us think on a planetary level and, um, you know, remember that, uh, while, while April 19th is here now, uh, 420 is on the way and Earth Day is on the way as well. Um... If there are people in our lives that we love, let's make sure we're telling those people that we love them. If there are people that we're thinking about, let's make sure that we reach out to those people. If there, um, if there is um, time that can be spent, um, let's make the time for each other. Let's, uh, let's. Let's really uh, enjoy life. Let's enjoy our earth. Let's enjoy our time. Let's remember that while every day someone is um, born, every day someone also leaves. And um, death is just as prevalent as life. So, with that being said, we know that another day is in promise. Um, I love, I love y'all. I love people. Um, Mom, I love you. Uh, to my my family, I love y'all. Um, to my friends, everybody that's been a part of my life, I love y'all. To um, my teachers, my professors, uh, my coaches, my uh, managers and, and mentors, um, supervisors, to my cousins, um, you know, people that I haven't met. I love y'all. And, um, you know, um, yeah. I just, I just needed, I wanted to say that. I wanted to say that. I needed to say that. And we need to uh, say that to each other if that's really how we feel. Um, it's not, it's not often that we say it. We don't, it's not something that we say all the time. It's not something that we have to say all the time. 
we try to we try to show it through our actions and just through our our everyday uh grind but it um but sometimes people need to hear it and for those of you who uh just haven't heard that in a while or heard that from me in a while um i love you um there are some people that i want to say thank you to um there are people that have been here for me uh, during times of my life that were hard during times of my life that I didn't think that I would get through there are people who we know that haven't made it to see Friday April 19th 2024 and I could have been one of those people so to the people that have been in my life and helped me through things, to the people that showed me tough love, to the people who challenged me and um, people that believed in me when I couldn't believe in myself, to the people that picked me up when I was down, uh, to the people that uh, literally like saved my life in certain circumstances, I really appreciate you. You know, people that I've been able to collaborate with on a professional level, music level, on, um, you know, on on a daily basis. Like, I appreciate you. I, I thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for, for being that person for me during that time. Um, and, you know, sometimes we don't know why we're there for people. Sometimes we don't know why we even extend ourselves or sacrifice ourselves and put ourselves in certain situations for certain people. Um, sometimes we don't feel that our love and our sacrifices are being appreciated or reciprocated. Um, and, and, some, and in some situations, we, we might never feel that. But if there is someone in your life um, that hasn't thanked you yet, let me thank you for them. You know, thank you for being there for that person that um, that hasn't said thank you yet. Uh, for the people that I wanted to say thank you to, thank you, you know, for being there for me. If you haven't uh, verbally heard it from me yet, let me tell you now, I really do appreciate you. Um, and, uh, and, and I, and that's, that's pretty much it. Um, should I make this an hour long? Can I go for another eight minutes? <sighs> I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess I could. What other closing remarks do I have? Um, to the healthcare professionals, thank you. Um, to the the men and women that have played a part in uh, building this this bridge over here. I'm gonna take some pictures of that uh, later on and share those with y'all. But you guys did amazing work to the, um, so to those men and women, thank y'all for that. Um, to the people who come out here and do the landscaping it's beautiful thank you guys to the um to the people who are um in in property management and they and they're interacting with so many different personalities every day um and doing things to to uplift the community Thank you guys to the maintenance professionals that are uh, keeping the ACs on and keeping the, um, the, 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 the water running and, and the, the, the electricity correct and, and the plumbing correct. Thank you guys. Um, thank you women that are involved in that. To the, the teachers that are underpaid that are still showing up to work for the children. Thank you to the teachers who um, are teaching college kids. Thank you 
to teachers who are um who are uh teaching different languages thank you um and and to the people who are teaching skills thank you um and that and that could be character skills that could be uh like technical hand skills that that might be art that might be um maintenance you know things like that like thank you because without you we wouldn't have the people out here that's able to do it today and that's actively doing it without the people that have taught us um to all of the people who are in entertainment thank you for the entertainment thank you for um really putting on a, a show and really studying your craft and and studying the art of entertainment and being able to provide that for us to give us a sense of um to give us a sense of escape sometimes or to to be able to look at things differently um thank you guys to the people that's making music thank you to the people that are um are athletes and have to train and practice every day to uh to test themselves and compete against other athletes and to to be um to be able to mentally and physically handle that and also hear and see the amount of people that you're doing that in front of and still continue to do that um you are y'all are some really tough and inspirational people so thank you all um the people that are amateur athletes that are trying to become professional athletes thank you without you there there wouldn't be any professional athletes to the the coaches of the amateurs and the coaches of the little league teams thank you um to my to my twenty six year old self thank you to my uh forty and fifty year old self eighty year old self uh if I make it there thank you um I appreciate every last one of y'all the people that have made my life better the people that have challenged me in life. Um, and the people that I haven't even met yet. Thank y'all. <sighs> um, Sam, I'm a lot. Oh, to, to Chick-fil-A. I just went there today. Thank y'all. The meal was great. There wasn't any sauce in the bag. I had to say it. I, I had to say it. There was no sauce in the bag, but I ain't tripping. It's cool. I didn't feel like going back to get it. The sandwich was still fine without it. The fries were still good without it. I ain't tripping. The drink, it was, it was, it was on point. Um, and, uh, And y'all did put napkins in the bag. So I so I ain't even I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Maybe I didn't ask for the sauce. I didn't check the bag to see if it was sauce in the bag before I drove off. So I ain't even tripping about that. I ain't tripping about that. As a matter of fact, the next time I place my order, I ain't even gonna ask for no sauce. Because the meal today made me realize that it could potentially be better without it. So I ain't tripping. I had on white today anyways. I could have potentially messed up my shirt and not even wanted to do the video. So, that's me finding the good in in it all. And not, and not tripping on y'all. I ain't even tripping. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 Um, shoot. I 
don't know. What else is there to say? What else is there to say? What am I say? I don't know. Um, oh, album. I plan to, to release an album on the, uh, on the 10th of October. Not 10th of October, the 4th of October. 4th of October. My birthday was, is on, is on April 10th, as I, as I said before, and that's, uh, 410, and... October 4th is 10-4. And on the walkie-talkie, we say 10-4. So that's how I thought about that. I, I, I did want to do something special for my birthday. I was able to do some special stuff for my birthday. And the, the most logical thing about when to release this album was that I wanted to do... I want to give it... Uh, I want to give it its time to... Uh, to to be presented correctly i want to present it in a way that i want to be able to put it out but um i also want to um do it during a time that's not too early or too late in the year and but i do want it to be done this year and it's going to be done this year and um yeah 10 4 it just made sense i think i think that's on a friday i'm gonna double check but yeah, y'all can y'all can definitely look forward to that. But during before I release the album, I'm still gonna be working on some other songs that aren't gonna be part of the project. And my plan and idea and goal is to give that to y'all uh to y'all, you know, before the album, you know, until the album comes out to drop a, a single or two or do some collabs and stuff like that, do some shows and things so um so yeah just uh that's that's what's that's uh what's coming up that's when it's coming and <sighs> and um yeah that's i think that's all the news that i have for the now for for the now that's all the news I, that i have for now and Peace out, my folks. Peace out. I'm really Audi 5000 this time. I'm really, uh, let's get off here. So, yeah. Holla yeah. at your boy. I can, uh, I can be reached in the comments. You can holla at me in the comments. I'll respond. Uh, you can holla at me on, um, on IG. You can holla at me on Facebook. Uh, add me on, add me on Facebook. You can add me on IG. Uh, if you want to have conversation, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. What else needs to be said? Peace. <laughs>